What's going on guys? Back at you again with another week 7 picks video for the rigged NFL. And if you think it's real, you a dumb song bitch like I always say. Now the first game, let's see what we got here. Looks like we got the Jags versus New Orleans. New Orleans, they shit the bed last week. At Jacksonville, they looked amazing last week. So that's why I'm going to pick New Orleans this week to win, boys. It's all about where the money is and where the money isn't. Next, we got Las Vegas versus Chicago. Hmm. I think I want to pick Chicago here because Chicago, they lost their quarterback in the game last week. And Las Vegas, they won last week. So I think they're going to flip the script on that. Next, we got... Cleveland versus Indianapolis. Cleveland's coming off of that ass whooping they had beating the 49ers. Well, not really. The Niners missing a kick at the end of the game. But the refs gave them that game. But Indianapolis, they also suffered a bad loss. So that's why I'm picking Indianapolis to win this week. And I think even Deshaun Watson's coming back. That's not going to matter. I pick Indy. Next, we got Buffalo versus New England. All right, I know the NFL's rigged and scripted, but there is nothing on this planet that can make me pick New England. But that's the reason why I should think about picking them. But I'm not going to do it. Not today. I'm picking Buffalo to win. But I'll give you one thing, though. I think New England will cover that game. That's it, though. Next, we got Washington versus the Giants. Washington had a good W last week. This week, I think New York's going to have the W. I think they're going to let the Giants beat them because it's too easy to pick Washington based on what happened last week. And New York, they might roll with Tyrod Taylor, which they should. So I picked the Giants this week. Next, we got ATL versus TB, Tom Brady's old team, the Buccaneers. My heart is telling me Tampa, but my brain is telling me Atlanta. Atlanta looked horrible last week. Which is why I think they're going to look better this week. Tampa, they also looked horrible. So this game, I would stay the hell away from this game. But if you had to make me pick, I'm picking Atlanta, I guess. Just because it's too easy to pick Tampa, I think. Next, Detroit, Baltimore. This is going to be a damn good game. Uh, I don't know which way to go here. Only because both teams won last week. So something's got to give. I think Detroit's the better team offensively. Defensively, it's a toss-up, I'd say. But it's an offensive league. So because of that, I'm going with Detroit. But Baltimore definitely could win this game, though, boys. But I don't like the way they've been looking. The only person that's looked good, good and consistent is Lamar. Everybody else, not so much. All right, now we got Pittsburgh versus the Rams. Hmm. I don't know what to think about this one. But I think I won't pick Pittsburgh because it seems to me whenever they lose one, they win the next week. They seem to be trading off wins and losses. So I'm going to pick Pittsburgh this time. But it's probably going to be a damn good game. I'm still trying to figure out how they're going to stop the offense. It's going to have to be with the generation of a pass rush. Otherwise, it's not going to be good for them. Next, we got Arizona versus Seattle. Something is telling me that we're going to see an upset here. But is it really an upset if a bird kills another bird? It's bird on bird action. Which bird is the tougher bird? I don't know. I think these teams are more even than people would like to imagine and think. But <sighs> Seattle, they took a bad loss last week. Arizona, they seem to be hanging around every game. No matter who they play. So, I don't know which way to go here, boys. But I'm going to pick Seattle just because they should win. But don't be surprised if Arizona wins. But I'm picking Seattle. Next, we got Green Bay versus Denver. I think Denver is tanking based on what we saw last week. Sean Payton's just giving his playbook out to anybody that wants to look. So, I don't know how you can pick Denver right now. It's clear as day that he wants a quarterback that's not named Russell Wilson. And that's in college right now. It's clear as day. You can't even deny it. He's willing to sacrifice a whole nother year or two just to get one of those young guys. 
when he can salvage a whole season. The Chargers are two and three guys. The Raiders, same thing. Like they're not out of it. So if he starts to tank, the future's looking bliss for Denver boys. But I pick Green Bay this time, boys. Alright, next we got the Chargers versus the Chiefs. I'm I think I'm gonna pick the Chargers just because everybody's talking bad on them. Everybody thinks that they suck. The coach sucks. He does. But I think none of that matters. Which is why I'm picking the Chargers to win. I got I picked the Chiefs to win on my paper, but I just changed my mind because I talked myself out of it. There's no way they're gonna make the Chargers go two and four. I think they're gonna get the win here. And the Chiefs will still be the number one team in their division with four wins, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I gotta double check, but I think they're four and one. So they would be 4-2, and two, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think that's what their record is. All right, next we got Miami versus Philly. Ah, I don't know what to go or where to go with this one. But my mind is telling me to pick Philadelphia. But my brain is often wrong sometimes. But so is my heart. Because my heart's telling me pick Miami. But this, we don't know what we're going to get this game. We don't know what Philadelphia team we gonna get. And we don't know if this Miami team on offense is for real. We really don't. So I would stay the hell away from this game. I really would. It's just too risky. It's too many factors involved. But if you gonna put a gun to my head, I suppose. Ay ay ay. On my paper I picked Philly to win the game. But they just lost to the Jets. But that's why you would people are probably gonna pick Miami. So I'm gonna pick Philly. Just because of that. I think people are gonna think they're weakened because of that loss they just took. But it's a week to week basis in the NFL. What happened last week doesn't mean jack shit. So it's a new week. It's a new time. I think Philly's gonna win this game. Alright, next we got 49ers versus Minnesota. Let's see. It's the last game as well. I want to pick the Niners, but you just never know with the NFL. You know they're going to make this a good game. They're going to make this a view by game. Everybody's going to be watching this. Uh, I, I'm just going to play safe and pick San Francisco. If they lose again, then you know that they can be beat. And you know that Brock Purdy is not the face of this league, nor she should he be. But other than that, boys, we're going to stick with 49ers to win this game. It looks like we got two, four, six teams on a bye week. One of them happens to be the Cowgirls. So we don't got to deal with those fans this week. Other than that, boys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.